football is back. And if you're going to play fantasy, you might as well make a little bit of cash while you're at it. Look at these big winners from last year in FanDuel.com. Big winners. All you guys got to do is put together a winning team, just like this right here, primary example, and enter the promo code Dual Life Games. That's Dual Life Games. What's good, YouTube? Y'all starting to know who it is. All knowing, all loving, all damn everything. Sexy as hell host of the Life Games channel, Lamont Tyson. Here to give you guys a little insight on what you can do if you want to start a YouTube channel. I'm coming to you guys from the man cave of America to just kind of give you some insight. At this point, I've got 7,000 YouTube subscribers and my channel was initially started for health and fitness technology and to help people do businesses and save money and the technology portion of my channel is the one that has driven my subscribership to where it is and I just want you guys to know that when you start a YouTube channel you've got to be persistent you got to be diligent and you've got to keep putting out content and don't be afraid to read the responses that people are going to put on it are they going to agree with everything you say they absolutely will not agree with everything you say, but you can't let that discourage you. And at the same time, there are a couple of fundamentals you want to have in place with your channel. You want to have some other social links with your channel. You want to be able to link Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as many ways as people can get up with you when you're doing your videos so that you can put it in the video description box below your YouTube channel so that one of those areas might take one of your videos and catapult it, which is kind of what happened to me. The other thing you want to do, guys, is don't go out there and blow a lot of money on special cameras, special equipment, special computers. You know, it's going to be tough your first, I'm, I'm going to say maybe year or six months in YouTube, unless you've got something that's going to be an instant hit. Most of your money from YouTube is not made by ad revenue, it's made by sponsorships. Uh, maybe some products you can possibly sell that you have, things like that. The ad revenue is just kind of icing on the cake. That's not going to be the biggest brunt of the money you make in YouTube. And so I will tell you, until you get to the point where you're making enough revenue to sustain your business, don't worry about getting those things. Me personally, I still do all my videos on my camera phone, which is a Galaxy um, S5, I think it is. And I do uh, screen recordings like what I'm doing right now with my computer. I didn't buy any special products. I didn't buy any fancy gear. The only thing that's really crucial is you want to make sure you've got a good microphone. And you can get a lavalier microphone for about $10 on eBay, Amazon, or wherever you want to go and look for it at. Guys, you also want to make sure that you are putting out content that's going to have what we call evergreen ability, which means it has lasting value. Think of things like from now to the end of this universe, people are going to always want to know how to get flat abs. Or if you're a techie, people are going to always want to know how to do certain things on the computer. People are going to always want to know how to make money. You know, things like that, guys, has lasting value, meaning that when you upload it, years later, people will still be clicking on it. And so whatever your topic is or whatever it is you're going to do with your YouTube channel, you might want to try to incorporate some of those how-to things so that those videos can have lasting value. And some of the other things you want to do is figure out what it is you want to talk about. Be passionate about it. Because like I said, your first couple of months in YouTube is going to be rough because you're not going to be getting a lot of views. You probably aren't going to be making a lot of money. And you want to make sure that whatever you're uploading, you're so passionate about it but you're really not worried about the income coming in as much you as you are getting your voice out there, letting people know who you are and introducing them to what it is you want them to know. And guys, if you do that and you think about those things when you get ready to start your YouTube channel, it can be less stress on you. Because I don't want you out there figuring, oh, you've got to do all these various different things to get a channel going. You don't have to do that. Most important thing is that you have some good content um, you make sure that your audio is pretty clear and you know you, you get things done like that and you edit your videos on your own it's not hard to do that people think it's hard 
But guys, just play around. Look at some YouTube videos on how to edit using whatever computer. Or nowadays, you can edit videos on your phone. It's not that hard to get into the game, guys. But what is hard is you having persistence and sticking with it through the rough period, which would be maybe that first six months to a year as you're trying to generate subscribers. And guys, that is gonna be my first video on things you should consider when you're starting a YouTube channel. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Join me on Facebook if you want more tips. Hit me up, I'm here to help out as best I can. And I will see you guys on the next video.